Ladies and gentlemen, with a card of honour provided by Hamilton, card of the Senate, please welcome to Dallas King. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the LAM for this Vanarama National League North fixture between Tamworth FC and AFC Telford United. Big game here for both teams. Telford sitting 21st at the moment. Tamworth sitting 15, but only six points separating these two teams. A loss here for Tamworth as well and truly drag them into the relegation battle. As Tamworth get us underway. Bradley Reid wins his first header back in the side after um, after a decent display on Tuesday night against Blythe. Reid got himself about. Made a few hefty challenges. He was booked to one of those, but it was nice to see a bit of tenacity from a Tamworth player. Only two minutes into this game, Tamworth have the first opportunity of the game. So it will be nice standing over this. We need to be a bit of quality. There are a few ton players in the box, the likes of Jones, Asante. But here goes Knight. Knight has a shot, and it's just sailed wide of the keeper's left hand post. It was a good attempt by Knight, trying to catch the keeper out across goal, but it's just flew wide. So it'll be a Tamworth throw. Knight takes it. Asante wins Tam with another throw off Johnson. So it looks like this could be a long throw in from Sharp as Luke Jones, Kettle all go and join Asante, Breed and Knight in the box. Verma goes in there too as Sharp puts it in. Kettle wins the header. It's gone in, but the ref has seen must have been a push or something on the keeper, and it's a free kick to Talford. So Kettle's header disallowed for what looks like a push on the Talford keeper, Ben Wilson. So Dino puts it in. It's up towards the back post where Johnson was attacking. I think it was Kettle who deals with it. Sharp just helps it on, but it comes back again. But Reed nicks it. Plays on through for Asante, who's onside. He's going to beat the Talford keeper to it, who slips. Asante pulls it back, blocked. It's going to come back for Asante. Asante needs support now. Coming into the Talford goal, has a shot. It's off the upright, off the post, back in the box, blocked. Attack really broke down there for Tamworth. It's good work from Asante. As Knight puts another ball in, up towards Taylor, just over him. And it will run out for a goal kick to Tamworth. Mad, mad 30 seconds there. As I think given Asante hit the post, he's still looking for his first Tamworth goal. It is the number nine. Again, a great run from uh, Asante there, Jake. Um, and we need to see a bit more of uh, on the Tamworth attacking and yeah. obviously like you say about two minutes before uh, Fowler changed Tamworth's formation which may have been a positive uh, decision to make. Wilson now with the goal kick. Kettle wins it but it only goes out for a throw to Telford. Sharp's clearance. Johnson puts him back forward. Verma now picks it up. His touch is heavy, but luckily there, that's where the referee will end this half. Scores, nil-nil, and we'll be back for the second half. Welcome back to the LAN uh, for the Vanarama National League game between Tamworth and AFC Telford United. The score is nil-nil at half-time. We were just waiting for the referee's whistle to get us back underway for the second half. Right, so we are now underway. Telford get us back underway as they immediately look for the left hand flank. Odini puts it in. Stevens came for it, didn't get there. And then Sutton's header misses the target by must have been a matter of centimetres, and it'll be a goal kick to Tamworth. So once again, Ellis Dini, the set piece taker for Telford, goes over to take it. <laughs> so 
so the ex Tamworth player takes this corner it's a good ball in it's won and it's gone in somehow sharp on the line couldn't keep it out and Talford go 1-0 up I don't know how that didn't stay out. Sharp looks to be in prime position to clear, but didn't, and Talford are 1-0 up. Yeah, I think Sharp had to be careful there not to uh, actually use his hand to put the ball away, um, just to the side of the goal. And I think what actually happened was he just missed the uh, clearance with his body and it just trickled through, similar to uh, what happened, uh, similar to the fumble that happened on Tuesday night here with uh, Jack Stevens. So another chance for Sharp to put a long throw. So Sharp. Verma tries to win it, not quite. And then Smith clears, sure shot, save, rebounds in! I think that is, re is it Asante? Asante comes up good for Tamworth with his first goal for the club. What an important goal that could be for Tamworth, drawing them level on the day with AFC Telford. Tamworth won. Telford what air won. So now White Dan's right hand side into Smith. Free for Marsden. Powell with a great tackle, but Marsden still with it. And it's an own goal, I think. Joel Kettle has put it in his own net. A shot puts it in. Verma wins. It's a scramble again off the line. The Santa heads it back in. The shot saved. How did that not go in there as he's come back out to Powell? Once again, blocked. Sharp floats one in. Kettle puts it back across the header. It's in! Tom would have scored! Tom Shaw, I think, with the tally touch to give Tam with an equaliser. It's 2 2. I'm not sure who got the tally touch there. We will wait for the announcer to announce who has, who has scored the goal for Tamworth. Could have been Tom Shaw, could have been Kettle, could have been Gray. I'm not sure who got that as we wait now. No one knows, not even the announcer knows who's got that. It's been given to Tom Shaw, will get the goal. Literally, what, that's got to be maybe a minute left, if that. So Stevens takes the goal kick and that is full time. 2-2 at the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the Lamb. Tam with grab a point um, and rescue what could have been a severe loss for their season. So the next game is away to Salford City. There is a supporters coach going to that game. A three o'clock kickoff um, at the Peninsula Stadium. So we'll see you for that game where there will be coverage.